Hello and welcome to Power Builder 2017, a feature look at 64-bit compilation. Looking at the Power Builder 2017 IDE, we have a demo application here called Sales Application. If we look at that particular target in the first Power Builder library, we'll see that there's a project called Sales 32-bit executable. Opening that, you can see that we're actually building Sales32.exe and the platform is 32-bit. If I use the right hand mouse button on that project and deploy that, and then I use the right hand mouse button again once the deployment is successful and execute a run, you can see that we're actually here at the logon dialog. Bring up Task Manager within Windows 10, you can also see that the sales application is launched and in the brackets indicate that it is running as a 32 bit executable and it's connected to a SQL Anywhere database engine. Again, returning to the PowerBuilder IDE, opening up the 32-bit project, let's do a save as. I'm going to save this project as 64-bit EXE. Inside the new project, I'm going to change the executable to sales64.exe, and I'm going to change the platform to 64-bit, and then we'll save that new project. We'll use the right-hand mouse button on the new project, selecting Deploy, to build the 64-bit executable. Again, once the deployment is successful, let's use the right hand mouse button and select run to run the executable. Launching the Windows 10 Taskmaster again, you can see the sales application is running. Notice that there is no bracket 32-bit designation, so we are running as a proper 64-bit application. Going to the application folder, we can see that there is a sales 32 and a sales 64-bit executable, and we can deploy either one of those into production as required. So for more information on 64-bit compilation or Appion PowerBuilder 2017, please visit www.appion.com.